There is a similarity between 1895 and 1897 in the history of Nigeria, but a lot of Nigerians may not know this. In 1895, the then king of Nimbi, Frederick William Coco, before this year had asked the British Empire, the British government, to allow the free trade of his natural resources at that time in his community. It was palm oil. As at that time, palm oil was like the gold in the world, and so Nigeria was a land where such resource was found. And um, he was the king of the Nimbe community. The Nimbe tribe is a place in the Niger Delta today, somewhere within Bayelsa. He wanted to start trading his own palm oil himself because as at that time, the British Empire, what they were doing was taking away all of the palm oil from these people and selling it for them and then giving them peanuts. These people were poor, very poor. They were starving. But you know what the British government did? They said no. As at that time, Nigeria is not a country. Nigeria was actually like a business. The country called Nigeria today was was known as Royal Niger Company, RNC, company by established by the British. It should be shocking for you to know that RNC today is now what you call Unilever Company. Unilever, you know that's what RNC was. And so, in retaliation, Coco did something very, very, very amazing. He decided to take matters into his own hands in 1895. He gathered 1,000 men and then marched to LNC. Battle there, he lost 40 men, but he was able to capture 60 white guys. He took them hostage, threatened the British Empire and told them that they should sign the agreement, but they didn't. He killed the men and he ate the, the bodies of these white men. Months later, the British Empire reacted by sending their Royal Navy and then slaughtered 300 men and leveled the community down. Coco had to run for his life and then went into exile. Now, that's for 1895. 1897 was the invasion of the Benin Kingdom. Most people think that the British actually invaded Benin because of their artifacts. No, actually that was just the spoils of war. The reason why they actually invaded Benin was because of the palm oil also. Benin was also known to be a very big hub for palm oil. They had palm oil plantation, there are thousands. The Benin Kingdom was actually very wealthy as at that time. But they wanted it for themselves and so when they came over, they met a form of hostility from the Benin people. What wasn't their intent? to be hostile to these people. It's just that they told them, respect our culture, don't come now. But they said they wanted to just come and sightsee. They went in, nonetheless, met this resistance from the Benin Kingdom. What followed next was the invasion of Benin in 1897 by the same British Empire. They came in, leveled the Benin Kingdom down, ousted Obaobonawe. After taking hold of the natural resources, they didn't stop there. They cutted away all, all of the artifacts. This sounds very familiar today, isn't it? With our oil, right? Niger Delta, all of that. The problem is that in Africa here, our natural resources are always cutted away and we are left at the bottom of the food chain. Without Africa, there will be no Europe, there will be no America. America. Today now they found lithium in Nigeria. We hope that they don't start the same unrest that they do so that they can come and you know cut away all of our natural resources. It's important that we as black people, we as Nigerians, we as Africans should understand history because history always repeats itself. Nothing is new under the sun. It's the same tactics people use today. It's the same tactics they use a thousand years from now. But if you know history, you know your history well, you will be able to avert it. And the only way to avert this is by getting ourselves credible leaders, leaders who know our history, who have put their history in their thoughts, and they are ready, ready to fight to serve the interest of Nigeria, the interest of Africa. It's not going to be easy, it's going to be a very long, hard road, but the only way we can start it at first by taking one step at a time is by us generally all of us deciding to know who we truly are and getting this knowledge for ourselves